It's just, it's summer in the Philippines. Yes, it's humid. Does that mean we can't make soap? No, it shouldn't mean we can't make soap. So usually about once a week or every two weeks, my mom or dad will take Layla for the day and let me have a day off. Last week, my mom took me to get the first massage I had had in probably two years, easily two years. Big day, I'm leaving the house. I'm going to get a massage. Holy crap, this is it. Getting two-hour massages. You want a special? I am blissful massage. How blissful is that? Spiritually, I'll be doing an intimate tour of her chi. It was amazing. Needless to say, my body was stiff. My bones were dying to be cracked, and the good people at the massage parlor took very good care of us. How's the temperature in here, Jeannie? Oh, it's good. Good, comfy. Are you okay with oil? Sure. Okay. And all the staff was super nice and very friendly, so I really had a wonderful experience. And for my break this week, I went out with my dad. Shh, don't tell mom, but we always sneak fast food because we eat so healthy at home every single day that when we're allowed to go out, we always splurge. Today is considered one of my days off, but I'm not leaving. I'm staying home because I want to work on a hobby that I have started and have recently become obsessed with soap making. I'm doing something very exciting. I am making three different kinds of beer soap. I'm going to experiment and try to formulate three different formulas for soaps, body bars, and shampoo bars that will be plastic free because I know here in the Philippines a lot of our beachfront resorts, a lot of our beachfront hostels use a lot of plastic. You know, with single use toiletries, plastic is almost inevitable or so we thought. So I'm trying to basically create a formula that's good for the hair, good for the body, and good for the ocean. So join me as I dabble and experiment in my laboratory and let's see what we can cook up. Alright, so the first soap of the day is going to be a pure coconut oil soap with beer, of course, and um, I'm going to color it a light orange color because I am scenting it with orange and cinnamon fragrance oils. So it's going to be fresh, it's going to be spicy, and it's going to go with the citrusy notes in the beer. Wish me luck. So my first batch of soaps are done. Um, obviously it thickened up a lot faster than I was expecting. I wasn't ready for that. But I did get all the batter into one mold or another. I put some in these little baby muffin tins so I can take them out sooner and see how everything goes. But yeah, 
that's it. I'm really happy with how everything went. I'm gonna let them sit for a few hours, have some lunch with my dad, and get some more supplies for my other batches of soap. Something wrong definitely happened with this batch. Why is it wet? This might just be a one soap episode. Might not even be a whole soap because I don't know if I can cut this one yet. It should be hard by now and it's really not. It's soft. It's soft and wet. But um, yeah, I'm gonna wait a couple hours, see how it goes. Check back in with you later. And I'm not gonna make any more soaps because I'm scared. So I've been doing some research online. I've also read a lot of forums that say overheating can cause oil separation, which today is an extremely hot day, hotter than normal. I left the soaps outside. The soaps in the muffin tins are not leaking oil because they're in a metal container, but the soaps in a waxed cardboard tube are. So I think it could be overheating because beer does have sugars and things with sugars tend to be a little bit more finicky when chemical reactions are going on, but they said to leave it for a few days and hopefully it will reabsorb and hopefully I can still cut it. Cutting is my favorite part. In the meantime, I'm gonna give Layla a shower, take care of some stuff here. Ooh, are you all clean? Are you a clean baby? Yay! Taking a little guacamole break, and then I'm gonna check on my soaps. I'm gonna go ahead and try to unmold the little hockey puck samplers and see what they look like, and then that'll give me a better idea of what to expect from the big ones. Oh no, I really smooshed it. So these are actually closer to like lotion bar consistency rather than soap consistency. So I'm definitely gonna let these sit out overnight. I'm not even gonna try to cut the bigger ones because if these baby ones are soft and the big ones are still probably like liquid inside. So let's check back in in the morning. Good morning, it is day two of this Sudstastic voyage. I'm gonna go check on my oily soaps and see if they are dense enough to cut. And hopefully they are so I can move on. That's what they should look like. They look drier, but I mean, they don't look great. I am using these cylindrical snack molds because I was told most people use Pringles or PVC piping to get a circular mold. But Pringles are a little bit too big for my hand and PVC I heard is very difficult to get the soap out of. So I chose these little picnics and I think the size is good because it'll fit in the palm of my hand and if I need to cut it to get the soap out, obviously I'm not gonna feel too attached to the mold. So that was my method behind this madness. Let's see if it will come out. Oh, it's working. As you can see, the soap is still super oily. It said online that if I leave it, it should get reabsorbed, but I'm not sure if that will happen because honestly, it's so hot out. 
nowadays that what if more oil leaks out? Who knows? I'm feeling pretty oily, so I'm just gonna let these soaps sit out. I'm really happy with the cutting, they're crooked, but it was a lot easier and more even slicings than my first soaping video. This new cutter is working great. That's enough for one day, that's enough for one week. I'm gonna have to make my other batches of soap next week or on my next day off because it is just too hot. It's too hot to be experimenting and it's too hot to be messing up. So that's all for this episode of La Vida Cora. I hope you had fun with me because I certainly had fun. Even through failure, I learned a lot, so I'm not upset about that. But I am excited for my next experiment, which is gonna be a beer shampoo bar. And that one has a lot of expensive oils in it, so I do not wanna mess up. I might make another soap before I dabble with the shampoo. We'll see. Anyways, wishing you guys a wonderful day. See you next time. All right. As you can see, I've already put my hair up. It is one of the hottest days so far and summer hasn't even really started. So next batch of soap, I'm definitely gonna keep it in the air con because some people said to put it in the freezer, but I have food in there, so I'm not gonna do that. Light orange color with a uh, asuete, achuete, as, ah, anato seed infusion. That's the English version of it. It's just, it's summer in the Philippines. Yes, it's humid. Does that mean we can't make soap? No, it shouldn't mean we can't make soap.